Hey, how you guys doing? This is your boy Mar. Yes, I'm still here at the Black Common Festival in the Schaumburg at Harlem. I'm here with the one and only Edgardo Miranda Rodriguez, the creator, or sorry, the creative force of La Barriquenia. How you doing, man? What's going on? What's going on? Thank you for, for this conversation. So remember, guys, this is a follow-up interview. Um, I interviewed him before. Unfortunately, La Body Kenya was here yesterday, but she's not here today. She's probably back in Puerto Rico. I don't know. Yep, she's out there fighting crime. So we had a great interview the first time I met you. So I noticed you have some new product on you. Please tell us, tell the people all about it. So right now we're here at the Black Comic Book Festival promoting the release of our new issue, um, Oro and Coquirorado. This is actually a new series that is spinning off from the Laborin Kenya universe. Um, this character actually debuted in our third issue, right here. Um, and that book, our third issue was published in 2021, but these characters were introduced without any backstory. So now that we finally have an opportunity to do a spinoff, we decided to start with Oro El Coquirorado. C cool story about this character is that it was co-created by my seven-year-old son. And this fall, we're actually going to launch a line of action figures. And Oro is actually going to be one of these action figures. So Oro is our first superhero to spin off out of the La Borinquena universe. And it's making its debut here in Nueva York at the uh, Black Comic Book Festival here at the Schomburg Center. And we just debuted it in Puerto Rico for the Puerto Rico Comic Con just the weekend before. So we're super excited to be back here in Nueva York to um, promote the release of our new issue. And uh, yeah, man, this is a great event. With, it's all about promoting the culture, promoting the entire uh, vibrant artistry and storytelling that exists within, within our community. So. I'm really honored and excited to be a part of the Black Comic Book Festival for its first real life appearance in 2019. So wait a minute, if your son created a book, cat character, at least he should be here to explain it for the public, man. My, 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 son is, my son is too small and too shy and too busy, so it's just me, the one man band running the bodega. I don't even have a bodega. Okay, 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 okay. So are there any plans to turn a lovely body Kenya into um, a live action character for a movie or right now she's just strictly, um, she's there to serve the people of Puerto Rico? Right now we're focusing on a movement which is really to um, support our continued philanthropic work in Puerto Rico and publishing more stories. That's where our resources and our, um, what our studio is capable of doing right now. And action figures, we're excited about that as well. Okay, so remember guys, Lavu Kenya is out here fighting crime and is all, she's also here to support the people of Puerto Rico. That's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. And I'm looking forward to seeing the auto um, action figure in the future, man, so we can discuss that more on camera for the public to see. Ed, <clears throat> Edgardo, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for being here. I hope to see you here next year. Definitely. Looking forward to coming back in 2024. All right, guys. That's a wrap. Until next time. Bye-bye.